Hi, I'm Danny Washington, and welcome to Nature Knows Best. Skateboarding for some can be an extreme action sport, or others consider it recreation. But can it be inspired by nature? If you answered no, well, that's where you would be wrong. If there's one thing any skateboarder will tell you they need, it's a good set of wheels. And believe it or not, with a little help from nature, the wheel has just been reinvented. Shark wheel is a shape that I invented about six or seven years ago. It is absolutely a 100% flat on six sides, perfect cube. It is also a perfect circle. It is a square, it is a sphere. It's a lot of different shapes in one. And that's why when people watch it roll, they're very intrigued because it looks like a shape that can never roll smoothly. The shark wheel certainly does look interesting, which is why I'd like to see it in action. Hey, David. What's happening? <laughs> wow, you look like you're having fun out there. We are, we're having a great time. So this is the shark wheel. Yes, this is the shark wheel. It's ridiculous looking, but it actually <laughs> works better, so. How exactly does it work? So in the simplest terms, when you're walking, you're going left, right, left, right, and it's a simple balance. The wheel's doing the exact same thing. The tread is alternating left, then right, then left, then right, and it's perfectly balanced. That perfect balance is what makes it go forward really smoothly. This smooth, back-and-forth pattern is what scientists and mathematicians call a sine wave, and it's found everywhere in nature. You can see the way that a fish swims, or you can see the way that a snake moves through the grass. It's got a wave-like action. You see it in the movement of almost every single animal. It doesn't matter what it is, this is the movement. Then you get into the way regular nature is. It's a wave. This is the way waves look. And this is the way waves break. Even stuff you can't even see is sine waves. Everything that's energy travels in a wave. And there's a reason this exists in nature. It's balanced, it has a perfection to it. And that's why we ended up coming out with a wheel like this. How does a regular wheel compare to the shark wheel? When you think of a regular skateboard wheel or any kind of traditional wheel, it really does act like a steamroller where whatever it hits, it just goes right over. Our wheels strike everything at an angle and it lessens the shock. Second thing is, it wears perfectly evenly. Wheels have a center point, and they wear off of that center point. This has no real center point. The center is always going back and forth. According to David, the shark wheel is also a lot faster than a regular wheel because it generates less friction. When you have a regular wheel, it's big and flat. All of that surface area is hitting the ground. With ours, only the tips are touching. Less friction is going to give you less rolling resistance. One kick, you're going to roll a lot further than a regular wheel. That translates to speed also, so you're going to go a lot faster. Normally, that would sacrifice grip. So when you've got a wheel that's very, very fast, slippery and slidey and things like that, we overcome that because we have three different lips and it's the edge of the wheel that catches. Well, we have three different edges. So we have a wheel that's grippier, but faster. And normally you don't get those two, you get one or the other. All right, well, I wanna test these out. Can we do it? Absolutely. I've got roller skates if you wanna go really crazy. Oh, I like the idea of roller skates. It's been more than a little while since I've put on a pair of roller skates. One of those days. <laughs> Straight. Straight. But after a few minutes, I think I'm getting the hang of it again. Nice. Straight into the wall. <laughs> Very proud of you. Thank you. All right, see, now I'm getting a little bit of confidence. And I mean, I'm not a pro skater, obviously, but <laughs> <laughs> I feel a lot more balanced sure? on these things. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna notice that they're really easy to roll. You push a little bit and you go a long way. So they're not sluggish in any way. They're very, very fast. They're very smooth. 
anything that you hit, any transition points, it smooths it out a lot. Yeah, and I can then, feel it. These cracks here, they're Yeah, you cracks. can't even feel them. No, not at all. So really, the, the possibilities are endless here with these. Absolutely. Woo! Oh yeah, here we go, here we go. Shark wheels all the way. When we come back, we head into the Shark Wheels shop. This is where the future is going to happen. <laughs> and then watch as some pro skaters put this crazy new wheel to the test. So stick around with Nature Knows Best. Welcome back to Nature Knows Best. I'm in Southern California with David Patrick, the creator of the Shark Wheel. He's showing me how his reinvented wheel can handle some pretty rough terrain. Woohoo! That was nice. Thank you. So if you were on a regular skateboard with regular wheels, you probably would have gone flying into the grass, right? You definitely wouldn't have had it as easy as I do. The Shark Wheel's design is based on something called a sine wave. It's a balanced back and forth pattern that's found everywhere in nature. Because of this design, the shark wheel hits bumps at an angle, which lessens the shock and makes it easier to navigate rough surfaces. And according to David, skateboards aren't the only place where his new design can outperform a traditional wheel. Let's go head to the office and I'll show you some really cool stuff. Cool. This is where the future is going to happen. <laughs> so what do we have here? All right, so the skateboard wheel was a proof of concept. And once we proved that it would work, we started going out into other markets. We've got wheels that are coming out for the wheelchair industry. We've got wheels that are coming out for the lawn and garden industry. We've got wheels for the materials handling industry. We've got wheels for wagons and golf carts and all kinds of things. Explain some of the differences to me. Depending on the industry, they had different needs. When you talk about the lawn and garden industry, they're usually going in soft soils and grasses and things like that. So they wanted a wide wheel that had a lot of surface area to it. So depending on the application, you got a different size and shape. And all of this innovation was because of nature. One of the things I always say is, this was a simple idea. And it's always the simplest ideas that are the most powerful. And speaking of powerful, David has one more wheel he wants to show me. So this is it, the biggest wheel you've got. This is the biggest wheel that we have put into use so far. And this is something that we've put out there on what's called central pivot irrigation. It's a tractor world. And each of these wheels weighs 440 pounds. What? Yeah. This one right here weighs 440 pounds. This is 440 pounds. So what was the problem before these wheels were put in place? It was really simple. A regular wheel in the system that they had, it kept going around and around and cutting a path. And that was a major problem for them. They have to pull their wheels out of the trenches, fill those trenches in. Our wheel, because of the shape of it, it doesn't keep hitting the same spot on the ground again and again. Instead of digging a hole, we make a very flat, hard surface. So that really helps farmers out so that they don't destroy a bunch of their crops and they don't have to dig a huge 400 pound wheel out of the dirt. It is a major time saver for them. From the looks of it, the shark wheel has a lot of potential uses. But I think my favorite one is still the most fun. Tremendous amount of grip. Nice. Well, cool. I've learned everything I need to know about the shark wheel and wheels in general, so thank you so much. Thank you. We had a great time. <laughs>